this is the Kettler matchup. And we are back. In 2006. We are back for the last we game. Yep. We have Jeremy playing Metacham. I had one prize Wait, left. And he he playing Ludicolo? Ludicolo? And started his oh, he's playing oh, Ludicolo. He's playing Ludicolo. Never mind. Metacham Jeremy was also playing. spelled wrong. <laughs> So we have Medi um, sorry, Jeremy playing Ludicolo versus Jimmy with his trademark EV deck. So hopefully, hopefully things will work out well for Jimmy this time. If this is the deck, I think it is. Ludicolo plays something that is relatively in standard with the pseudo reprints of the Macargo mm -hmm. in Medicham or not Medicham, Ludicolo. Yep. We got in uh, whatever the what was it set called. It was one of the sets. Yeah. <laughs> Lost Thunder? Lost Probably. Thunder. Because it also had, like, TV Reporter in it, too. Mm hmm So, yeah, we got some, um... So, I'm sure some people might be already familiar with Ludicolo, but um, pretty much it just does ten times the amount of uh, Pokemon. So, oh, Celestial Storm. Thank you, the diff. Celestial Storm, yep. So I played at the pre-release and I pulled it. Yep, might as well, right? So, I mean, I killed the same Machop like three times that game. So, were you smiling? Were you smiling, Dwayne? I was. I was mean mugging. So, hi, Sammy Space. Hello, Sammy Space. Glad you're here. Or Sammy's pace. Oh no. Hello, either way. I'm yes. my abilities. So here we go. Can Jimmy work the magic of Eevees? In <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hopefully a it won't end up like that. I mean, Jimmy's just had some abysmal luck today. Yeah, you can draw immediately, no, I think. Great. Okay. You get to choose as many. You declare when you start the game. Okay. So if you have five mulligans, you can say, I'm only taking huh. three, but well, I'm taking one. I wait to take the mulligan until yes. you separate. Okay. Well, yeah. technically, no. You're supposed to make that option every time. Yes, I want it. No, I don't. Okay. But this is when the dice thing started. We started saying, I'm going to take them all. I'm going to count them here. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it is right. just one of those days. You know, they, they my last premiere event I played at two years ago. I, I think I played a. Uh, I, I decided to play Greninja GX. Yeah, I went zero and four, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to the hotel. Yeah, and I went and sat in the hot tub. Honestly, and, and I, I just checked on with my people that I traveled with. I'm like, "Hey, how are you doing?" I'm uh -huh. Like, I'm 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 in the hot tub. I'm about to order Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sometimes, sometimes it'd be like that. You really do. I didn't even win a game. It was I got two owed every oh, game. Two owed. I was like, man, and then I was like, I'm just never playing Greninja ever again. Yeah, your your mistake was playing Greninja in the it first was, place. It man. was a very big mistake. I almost played Napoleon, which might have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have been worse. I mean, probably would have been better. I played round one. I would have. I would have absolutely won. Yep. Go own drunk. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was in Wisconsin, so it was plentiful. Of course. A slug must start to the Pidgey start. Yep. No draw for Jimmy, but um. That slugma right there looks like it's having a trip. <laughs> Family friendly, uh, Dwayne. So, so, so <laughs> Didn't say anything else. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just it, think that Slugma just really needs more yeah, sleep. Really you know, looks it like is, it had three hours of sleep last it, it night. It is hard to sleep in a volcano. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine. I mean, yeah, it's man, just it it's never dark, bro. It is. You always got the light. It's hot. Mm -hmm. There's always a risk of an explosion. Okay. Yep. Two but. Colos. <laughs> <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> well, um, what's good is that Jeremy, uh, Team Rockets admin, so both people get a refresh in the hand. See, we um, we try our best to be family friendly here, Yusuke. 
I, I've already I, last week I, I did my best and I did not swear uh, I apologize if my swear that I said earlier I got picked up on on Mike um, was not intentional yes oh and also I don't know if you were already thanked for this Yusuke but thank you so much for subbing like you're the first sub I think no. No, you're not the first sub but you're, you're the first sub I've seen and that is special yep so thank you, Yusuke. <laughs> plusle? Is that a pl that's a plusle. Yep, that's a plusle. Oh, there's another attached to the... Oh, no. We might see some clutching. Oh, uh, he didn't... That... That's a... Yep, that's a, that's a hit for 20. So it may not even be a six zero. It may just be a donk, or honestly, not technically a donk, a bench out. I yeah, guess it would be. I I hope not. I mean, this is. Oh. It would it would take quite a bit. It has Can Jimmy catch a break? <laughs> it would need. You need the rare candy switch. Yeah, we All right, energy you know I mean? with the low tad. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks, Yusuke. We try our best to, to bring quality content. You know, this is the first time we're ever doing this type yep. of stuff. So, I mean, if, if anyone has... Um, <laughs> if anyone has any uh, uh, feedback or anything, just feel free to say it. And yes, <laughs> Jimmy going for the prize card. <laughs> I believe these will also be put on YouTube uh, sometime next week. And uh, our poll for next week's uh, retro will be up on, uh, I believe, Verbank Tuesday. on Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. I still have my admin. <laughs> oh, no, Jimmy taking prizes. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the bar has been set so low that if he takes a prize, I mean, that's that's off. practically a win. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On their mentor, probably. I really hope he takes a prize. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> we just want. I just want. So, I just want one prize. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jeremy using smooth over here. Um, probably do putting a Holland's mentor on top, but it looks like there might not be one in the deck. Is you're, that? <laughs> you're correct, Diff. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose eric taylor <laughs> and he said that fictional high school football coach yeah bro all right okay so jeremy put i don't even know if it's what i want to be honest so jeremy puts a warp points on top or is thinking about it yep so jeremy locking in with a warp point Um, trying to get that mag cargo out of the active next turn. And see, this mag cargo is uh, the you know, mentioned previously. The spiritual is a the spiritual reprint of it came out in in a celestial storm. Right. <laughs> allows yep. you just to search. But top man. card Ludicolo allows you to draw that card. That you put on top of your deck. Oh, there's a rare candy. Oh, oh no Pidgeot. <laughs> no Pidgeot. Darn, it looks like another dead turn for Chimmy. Dude, I don't think there's anything I can do. I definitely have knockout on this. I don't know. I'll set it. Oh, jeez. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the second yeah. And I, Jimmy, I, I, yeah, we're, 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 we're playing, playing another, another one. one. Jimmy <laughs> scooping because Jeremy has the yeah, win in hand. <laughs> with <laughs> we got we got someone watching from yeah. Brazil. It's a wonderful country. Yep. One of my my hero in life is a man named Ayrton Senna. He came from Brazil. Yep. So, um, despite that being the last game, that that was not great. Um, you know what? We'll just do another game. Ooh, Brazil represent. 
I haven't been there myself, but uh, a lot of my friends have gone to the internationals there and have definitely liked it. Um, I, I never, I never went there, but I, uh, I raced go karts when I was really younger, and uh, I raced against a couple of people from Brazil, and it was a, it's a it's a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of wildlife and the rainforests out there. Are For sure, fantastic. Yeah. Save the rainforest. Yep. By the Seriously. way. For sure, and uh, yeah, Ma Mariana, for uh, sure. Did you want to choose Jimmy just again? oof. <laughs> so technically, Jimmy did take a prize. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he did scoop, but he did take a prize. So it is not eighteen and out. Yes, it is eighteen and one. <laughs> <laughs> And technically, that wasn't even six prizes taken. He just got kind of dumped. Yeah, he just got yeah, he just got benched. I mean, you know what? That's it'd be like that sometimes. Jimmy's already two Pokemon up. Oh, oh, he's got three Eevees. This is this game is not going to be like last time. This might be a full game here. <laughs> oh boy! I really hope it is a full game. I mean, all these games from Jimmy have just been super rough. Jeremy's and his hand does not look super pleasant. I was just counting my he's got supporters, thankfully. He's got, it looks like a, and the Victorian. I, can't, I can't tell. He's got two mm -hmm. Battle Frontiers, it appears. No, yep. So Jimmy call a family for the Pidgey. Hopefully getting a Pidgey next year. Not next year, next, next, year, next turn. Yeah, I I can recognize it pretty quick, but as we got it'll be quite the yes. game, a six month battle. Yeah, yeah, Yusuke, I mean once all of this blows over, once COVID's just all down in control, hopefully I'll and well and, and, and if I have the money, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to go to the internets there. Hope y'all are staying safe and healthy. Yeah, honestly, Mariana, I, I would not be surprised if he <laughs> prized all his Pidgeys. <laughs> like, it, it would be that would be the way the cookie crumbles today. Uh, yeah, I've had a uh, Brazilian food before too. Brazilian food is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm yes. a big foodie <laughs> myself. <laughs> when I was when I was living in Chicago for a short period of time, I lived down the street from a Brazilian food place. Yep. That my roommate brought me to. It's amazing, like, bro. Oof. It's amazing. I was like, knock my socks off. For sure. Like, I personally love food. I, I would just go to country just to eat his food. I want to eat Brazil's food, bro. <laughs> like, especially street food. Like, that's that's when you know yeah. it's super authentic. Yeah. So. Yeah, I went to Tijuana when my brother was mm. in San Diego. And we just went across the border to go get street tacos. Dude, that's that that sounds fire. Very much worth the excursion to Tijuana. Oh, yeah. so so we got Jeremy using Celios. Um, I think getting a low tad, and then and then attaching an energy there. I don't know which special energy that is. I don't remember. Oh, thank you. There's so many in this format. Yeah. And, and it's one thing that I miss a lot of is is the good quality, like, uh, various special energies. It's not all, like... Hall on WP. Hall on WP. Now, I mean, you have call energy pseudo-reprinted with a okay. capture energy. And you have the new special psychic energy, which I'm forgetting its name, that puts damage counters when you get knocked out but yeah then you have the but, quick yeah. energy ah uh, yes so here uh, if this pokemon that hole and wp is attached to is also has a basic water energy attached to it prevent effects excluding damage done to that pokemon by your opponent's pokemon okay the pokemon so i think that's hall and energy wp attached to also is a basic psychic Mm -hmm. The retreat cost is zero. I see. So, so I think that this one would be um, a tech against um, ATM Rock. Yeah. As that we saw in Chuck Lock earlier. 
I mean, you can also pair with. Oh, it's basic. Mm -hmm. So I can't even use cast as a cast form. Yeah, that would be pretty cool if you could, but. Um, yeah. So, Jimmy top decking the admins. Um, considering his plays, he evolved into Pidgeotto, which is pretty good, and he's just going to call for family again. Slowly setting up his board. Um, I don't think he's going to get benched out anytime soon. So, <laughs> like, things are looking pretty good for Jimmy. Yep. Uh, Jeremy draws. Um, I see a mag cargo and a Ludicolo in hand. And one thing that, uh, um, we haven't seen it yet, but Jolteon is in Jimmy's deck. And Jolteon can one-shot all these Ludicolos. Oof. Once they hit the field. I think it's weak to electric. At least I, th I would hope it's weak to electric. Mm-hmm. Because Ludicolo is also a grass type, but if it's weak to grass, that that would strange. be kind of weird. Yeah, I mean dragons are weak to themselves, but that's not yeah. the same. It was weird today seeing uh, colorless once again be the weakness for dragon Pokemon. When I was playing Drag Trout, I was thinking, "Oh, this is it's weak to fairy the entire mm -hmm. game." I don't know why. I was like, "Gotcha." But yeah, there's no fairy Pokemon. Sure. And there's also the Delta typings, but I, there's no... I don't think there's going to be any of the Deltas in this. It's all pretty straightforward. Ludicolo being, yep. Yep, Ludicolo sounds good. Ludicolo weak to electric. Ludicolo! <laughs> His iconic line. His iconic line from... And, and, and also, just an yeah. icon of Detective Pikachu. It doesn't matter if you Nightmare fuel. <laughs> Please find the video of Ludicolo in foreign languages. From Detective Pikachu. Yep. Highly recommend watching Detective Pikachu as well if you haven't seen it. Yep. Great movie. I like it. Um, and then. Um, multi energy to the. So. Uh, oh. I'm so good to see. Thank you for the, the wisdom. Um, yep. Okay. So, so again, special condition afflicting attacks. Um, you can keep on swing dancing. Because you're not like, by special condition. Cool. Cool stuff. So, Jimmy, taking a look at his hand. There's a Flareon EX in his hand, but I'm not sure if that's the direction he wants to go to. Like, I, I guess he could burn and confuse, which wouldn't be horrible. Yep. Burn and confuse? Yes. Oh, and he's making. I think he's going to go into Jolteon here. Yeah, he might go into Jolteon. I think Jolteon would play... I, I, I think it's Jolteon Star that places a damage counter. Yeah, it's Jolteon Star that places a damage counter. You're going and, to Espeon. Oh, it looks like he's going with Espeon. So, here, I think... So, so what do you think Jimmy might do? I don't know why I shuffled so much. I'm just going to admin. May evolve uh, one of your Pokemon. That doesn't help here, so... And... Sorry, so dude. I think he might snap tail. He could snap tail here. Yeah, and he hasn't attached yet either, so he still has an energy to attach for turn. Mm -hmm. So what he could do, yeah, right. he could Devo time. flash snap tail, but then he'd lose yeah. a special condition. The so yeah, the the well, uh, Devo yeah. flash only really works when you uh, evolve sense. from yeah. hand. Yep. Okay. So. Um, I, I think I mostly would snap tail. I think he might target down the mid cargo, but I'm not. Sh I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what what Jimmy does. Nope, he goes after the low tad. So Jimmy opting to go after. Um, you can't use swing dance. Don't forget. After low tad, in order to. Second Macargo. Kind of neuter J all, all of Jeremy's attackers. So it makes it easier to five in hand, Jeremy. Okay. Um, to knock it out later on with Jolteon. And also, um, if Jeremy can't evolve this Lotad, it's just straight up a knockout. A so, so Jeremy benching another Lotad, so if this other one gets knocked out, it's not too big of a deal. Also 
Um, a Jeremy Smooth Overing. Unfortunately, he, he cannot swing step for the card that he picks because of the special condition that he's under. He has no draw support other than admin in his hand. Yeah. I I almost would have liked to see him um, play the admin. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I'm like, if he could, he could play the admin, try to get into one of, another low tad. Yeah. Or, or not uh, Luc- Ludicolo. Yeah, Ludicolo. Another Ludicolo. Um, Jeremy also runs heal energy, so if he got lucky and drew the heal energy, um, then, you know, I, I think he would be in a, a much better spot. Um, but I, I think now he's just opting to smooth over, set himself up for next turn. Um, he could double rainbow. I mean, if I get... yeah, he could double rainbow. I don't. I I think he he doesn't have enough cards in hand in order for that. There's the admin. Okay. Uh, so Jeremy actually does opt to do the admin play. Um, luckily, um, Jeremy has two smooth overs, so it's okay. Even though um, he wasted the first one. Um. It shouldn't really matter at this point. Well, it doesn't matter because he gets snappy move with mm-hmm. this A-Palm here. Weirdest artwork I've ever seen. I, I, it looks like it's made of felt. Yeah. I um, mean, I honestly like these these types of like um, arts on the cards where it's just like um, a kind of like a figure on yeah. top of like a drawn or paper background. I, I, I'm a big I, fan I of like the Claymation it. cards too. Ooh, the Claymation ones are, are nice. Yeah. I like those ones. But that would uh he can get a draw off with the with the A palm. So you can smooth over for yes. something to be able to whether it be uh mm-hmm. for I don't sure. know if he's gonna go for an attack here or is he gonna go for something because he got what appears to I uh what does Lotad evolve into? A lombre? Uh, a lombre, yes. Yeah, a lombre. So I got a lombre Evolved so that's a lombre. So that one is safe from being sniped by um, by the Espeon EX. Now, what what Jeremy could do is he could he could smooth over for the heal energy and then a palm for it. So by doing that, so by doing that, um, he doesn't have to flip through confusion. So, I'd like to I'd like to see that I think, um, and and actually if if um, Jeremy still had the other smooth up, he would have been able to set up for next turn as well. But <clears throat> so Jeremy doing some math, it looks like if he's able to flip heads. Then he could get a knockout. He could get a knockout with uh, uh, against the Espeon. Okay, you're active. It doesn't count yours. Yes. She's ninety. Okay. All right. I can't tell what Jimmy and Jeremy were talking about, but I believe he may actually be short on that knockout. Yeah, because uh, circular steps only counts bench Pokemon, correct? You ten short. I think. And even if even if Thespion does get KO'd here, Jimmy is not nearly as bad shape as he was in uh, some previous games. I don't know if that yep. The deck the right way. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, double rainbow. Double rainbow. All right. And Here we go. So and Jeremy. River biscuit for the biscuit. Ooh. Ooh is a knockout. Heads. Isn't it, in. is it a knockout? Because it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus seventy. What? Um, I don't know how much HP. 
Oh, wait, no. It's ten times the number of Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. So it includes the SP. Yeah. So. Yep. Good job. And then, unfortunately for Jimmy, Jeremy actually got the Battle Frontier, so he cannot use Quick Search. So Jimmy cannot use Quick Search. I think he's got a counter in his hand. The yep. Yep. Well, it does look like Jimmy does have the counter he stadium, top though. deck that as well. So. So quite the hot top deck there. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So full flame stadium. Going to be very useful. He even had the giant stump. Mm hmm. Shuffle, 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 one, draw three, draw three. So yeah. weird. I needed it to get the EXs back in, but. So, so you could swoop them. Yeah, so, portal. Exactly. So. But it didn't always work out that Jimmy way. Jimmy using so. a Bill's maintenance. Um, one cute play that you could do for the tech is so that, that you can that uh, shuffle in some evolution EXs into the, into the deck so that you can get it with swoop teleporter. Um, but here, I think he's just wanting to, to draw. He's got the Flareon in his hand. Mm hmm. It's got a Flareon. It's got an Espeon in hand as well. And an Umbreon? Hmm. That totally blows. There's the Flareon and Espeon. Yep. And another giant stump. Yes. So the special conditions are. are already burning confused. Yeah, he's already burning confused. Yep. So Jimmy missed an energy, so that's that's very unfortunate well, for him. He does still have his or, his quick draw. Six, seven, eight, I, I believe. And I know you run strength charm. Uh yes. 80, yes. 90, I do believe that, that Jimmy does have quick search. So Yeah, I whiffed energy. Does uh I I don't believe he used it. I can quick search though, right? Oh, yep. yeah, he yeah, 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 okay. He just, he, <laughs> because he top decked that stadium. Yes. And put it into Ooh. play. But up. what is, what is, it? he's got, you know, Jeremy still has to flip for burn. And now, and if he does flip tails again, it's going to. You're burned and confused. Put yep. four damage counters instead of two on it. So that. That is useful. Oh, yeah, for sure. I need energy. So if if Jimmy got an energy, then he would have been able to get a Jolteon and just straight up knock out the Ludicolo. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to happen like that. So it looks. <laughs> so it looks like Jimmy is about to swoop teleporter. He's about to do some crazy stuff here. Apologize yep. for. <laughs> <laughs> the language, if you heard that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So he swoop teleporters for the... And Black Cry for 20. For the Umbreon. And then Black Cry for 20. So that means that Man, this Ludicolo this, just definitely cannot use, your power. use any powers. So even the heal energy now won't help. So, all right, here we go. So, Jeremy plays um, another Battle Frontier. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much CB Ramen. <laughs> Um, so Jeremy opts to evolve the Lombre with no damage on it. And uses his first smooth over. Yeah, I don't... I'm not 100% sure what he's trying to get here. I think it might be the heal energy again. I'd like to see that because um, because e even if he can't use step dance or, or, or anything, it would be nice if 
if Jeremy could pressure Jimmy's active Umbreon EX. I didn't even consider the Lombre could just get laid on the... Pick another Lombre. So Jeremy opts to put another Lombre on top. Stevens for four. Yep. And then Jeremy Stevens for four. So this this Lombre. So so this uh, low tad turns into Lombre. You still got one smooth over left if he so chooses to use it. Yes. There is one smooth over left. Will he He's risk yeah. the attack? <laughs> yeah, like I gotta reduce the butterfly effect somehow, the diff. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, if, if you do, if you do come use the time machine to go back and just, you know, play some high level Pokemon, I don't know, man, maybe you can get enough capital to, to invest in, into the card game or, or other stuff. Who knows, man? The, the card mark, the the card market is practically just you know low level stocks markets, man. Yeah, this is the era, of, like this this era right here is the era that right now is seeing a lot of, you know, there's a lot of like older stuff that's obviously worth a lot of money, but this era here, when it comes down to the money that you'd make later on, and plus the play, the way the game was played, and how good the format was, there'd be no better time to go back in time to the mid two thousands. Oh yeah. But here we go. Oh, I didn't exactly catch what Jeremy got off of his second smooth over, but I trust that he uh, got a good card for next turn. Yeah, I'd go back. Yeah, imagine getting you could go buy a house right now with a black lotus. Yeah, honestly, yes. If you're going to invest in anything, then it would 100% be magic. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I just go to card stores back in the, what is it, 1988, 89, when it first opened, like buying me all your packs, I'd open all those packs and bury them in a backyard, go back to the time machine, unbury them, mm -hmm. and then buy a house. All right. I can discard as many cards as I want to heal that much from Moody. So, unfortunately, Jeremy flips tails on both Confusion and Burn. So, he takes 50 damage. So, Jimmy hitting uh, a giant stump, bumping the, the stadium, and also limiting both players' benches. So, that actually hurts Ludicolo's damage output by a lot. So, yeah, Jeremy was also forced to, to, to discard a second Macargo. Devolving into the Macargo. Yep. So, Jimmy devolving the Macargo. <clears throat> Jimmy did take a prize this game. He Let did. it be known that he is at five. <laughs> so, the goal has been reached. Yep. Oh, and Jimmy actually here. Devolving Jeremy's mad cargo and then Rockets admitting it, it away. Wow. It helps that Magix has a huge uh, market for like le honest, legacy yeah. games. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. um, until recently, no, Retro Pokemon some... wasn't. Yeah, I, I something anyone really played. People kept decks. Some people kept decks. Some people sold. I was with the people who I, I would sell everything off that was going to be rotating because I I was poor. So I was like, all this stuff's rotating out right after Nats. Go to the vendors and be like, <laughs> take me, all my stuff. <laughs> take, give me monies. Sell this to, to the Nats World's competitors, bro. Yep. I've already quick searched. But. Or, or the better move is uh, even not when it's, ro when it's not rotating. I remember when Waylord 
got the finals, I uh, I had a bunch of waylords. I was just selling. I was like, yeah, you might as well. <laughs> I was like, this card is going to be peaking for a week. Yep, and then just you know <laughs> die back down again. So Jimmy's starting to set up um, his SPN on the bench. Oof. And down goes the Ludicolo. Down goes the Ludicolo with Umbreon's first attack. All right, Jimmy took his second prize. Yeah, I remember back then in like uh, in that same time period. Um, that's when the um, old deck started popping up. But okay, sounds good. Twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen. How fast this start? Can change your board state. It's pretty yeah. But yeah, so um, Jeremy uh, Celio's networking for um, Ludicolo, and then. Two Essentially, attacks. rescue stretchering back some Pokemon so that he can reuse his attackers. So using Pokemon Retriever. This is literally just rescue stretcher. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just straight up rescue stretcher. <laughs> All right. So Jimmy drawing. <clears throat> Does he has what does he have in his hand? So he has Hall on Energy. Is it fire energy? Uh Strasser. fire fighting, I think. So he could set up the Espeon here to yeah, the Flareon here doesn't help. do that. The Flareon doesn't help. Yeah, I, th I think Jimmy really wanted a Lightning Energy here so that he could go in with the Jolteon uh, EX. Because I, th I think he has a Swoop Teleporter or has access to a Swoop Teleporter. So. Can't do that because Stump's in play. <laughs> So we'll see what what Jimmy does here. He's in much better shape than he has been in any previous game. Oh yeah, for sure. Quick search. So Jimmy using quick search. Not really sure what he's looking for here. Um, worst case scenario, he could um, um, you know, attack with Umbreon again. But then one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but then uh, next turn, Ludicolo could just healing steps um, all the damage away. But we'd well, have to kill his hand to do it. Yeah. Yep. One, two, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really good. I mean, yeah. if Jeremy gets two more Pokemon on the on uh, his bench, or three and a double Rainbow Energy or something, then um, he can use Circular Steps for Knockout. But I mean, yeah, the stump is actually hurting me right now. So. Jimmy is a uh, in a rough position yeah, right now. I can't lay another basic, so that's actually kind of hurting me. He's so just looking to figure out what he wants to quick mm -hmm. draw here. I just don't want to get over fancy unnecessarily. So Jimmy opting to put the Espeon EX back in in favor for what I would probably assume to be... Oh, he doesn't. He chooses to fail it. Interesting move. Admin still in here. Oh, the last one's still pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Can you knock this out? I don't think so. Just gonna four, five, six. 
nine. And you get two. So. But this is an interesting choice not to. Yeah, to, 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 not, to not to use, the, to use anything. Yeah. Right. Oh, God, this is such a hard attachment here. So, so Jimmy, wondering what to attach fine. here. Yep. Okay, so. Jimmy does opt to. Um, Black Cry. Black Cry, so that means that Ludicolo cannot um, use his Poke Power to draw. He's pretty much uh, clutching it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah. In a way. But a little better. Oh, yeah. It's doing 10 more damage. And it can use Fox. But Jeremy, thinking about what he can do. I wonder if he's trying to think about whether or not he should attach and hit hard or use circular steps here. He could do both. Jeremy does need a good amount of Pokemon though in order to take this knockout. It looks like he has a water energy in hand. Um, so if he can get two more Pokemon down it would put Ludicolo circular steps at 80 damage to knock out the Umbreon. Why is always the best game last? Healing steps? Can't. Oh, healing steps, okay. Discard two cards? Okay. So Jeremy opts to healing Six. steps. And heal off all the damage from the Umbreon. So Jimmy here I think might be just looking for Flareon. He's got Flareon in his hand. Yep. I can actually get there, but I'm too many cards off. So I didn't see any way for Jeremy to get a another Ludicolo in hand, because I think he would have just played it. Because you can still use Ludicolo Swing Dance on the bench, so there, there really isn't any reason to not get it. So... I think if Jimmy really wants to and knocks this out, I think that he would be in a very good position. I think he wants to do. Uh, you don't gotta do him like that, the diff. <laughs> I don't know what he wants to do. To I think he wants. If he could get rid of this Ludicolo, I think he'd be pretty happy about it. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I think Jimmy Jimmy has the option to to get the knockout. So cards in hand too. <laughs> so Jimmy actually opting to attach the Hall on energy to the benched Eevee. So now he's using his quick search. So you are burned and confused, good sir. Yep. So Jimmy is really thinking about what he wants to get from this. Is that stage one? Abandon that strategy. <laughs> so Jimmy, are you like thinking about turn, getting like, oh, a Steven's advice? But decides to go with game. the Bills. The Bills maintenance. Yeah, I have a really dirty play next turn. So. Cut. All right. I don't think I need both of these Pidgeots in my hand. So, Jimmy taking a Pidgeot and shuffling it into his deck and then drawing three. Pidgeot. Oh, yeah. I just heard him say Pidgeot. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I heard that a lot when I first started playing the TCG. I'm like, that's not correct. <laughs> yep. All right. 
and then Jimmy Black cries again. Uh, that was a big flip, you know, because I had that. Oh man. And now Jeremy is not burning fuse anymore. <laughs> if he flipped tails, then um then Jeremy actually would have had enough damage, I believe, to get knocked out. To get knocked out by Flareon. But, yeah, yeah, Jimmy opting to put the Pidgeot up. I think I'm going to get you this turn, Jeremy. I think I got All right. you now, buddy. Here we go. What can Jimmy do? All right, so I just got to play it correctly. Um... Gotta play it right, so So Jimmy looking like he wants to attach that hull on his electrode. Oh, let's quick search first so I don't screw this up. Jimmy opting to quick search first. Just making sure that, um the contents are all there. And then he plays the Time Machine in order to get that Jolteon EX. There it is. There's the Jolteon. The thing we were all talking about this whole game. Frick, I'm one freaking card off. Is that Rick Oh, man. He is one card off from... He is apparently only one card off, but uh, he does have the Knockout... Um, with the Holland's electrode. Plus twenty, plus ten for each damage counter on you. Okay. So, I mean, it's not ideal, but uh, Jimmy really could just, you know, come in and knock out this. I think I'm gonna go back in. Okay. Um. Uh, knock out this Ludicolo. That would put uh, Jeremy in a rut of like. Really rough spot here. Yeah, for sure. He devolved him, so it's a whole other turn of. Unless he has rare candy Ludicolo, he's gonna have to hold on. Uh, he's gonna have to attack with a low tad next turn. Mm hmm. So, actually, I think what Jimmy might do is he might. He might try and knock out that bench low tad because he knows that Jeremy doesn't have an, uh, a way to get a Ludicolo, Ludicolo, but it looks like he's just going to be um, coming in with a Jolteon and using um, its second attack to knock it out. Bam, 140. All right. down to three. Jimmy's down to three prizes, and Jeremy only has a Lotad and a Slugma. That's an. That's a. Jimmy has four prizes. Sorry. Oh, Jimmy has four prizes. Oh, yeah, it does have four. So, um, Jeremy's sending up the Lotad. Ooh, top decks are rare candy, but does he have the Ludicolo to match? All I was missing was the admin. If I hit the admin there, the game's over. Hmm. So Jeremy considers putting down the plus hole, and he does. Attach just a plus hole. Eight. Jimmy with an eight card hand retreats to the plus hole. He's probably gonna yep. just call for family. Yep. Sounds, sounds like a plan. The sacrificial lamb. Yeah, pretty much. And I'll call for family. So. I can't spark. I probably would if I could. So the call for family here, um, able to put to to give Jeremy two more bench Pokemon, which is very important for his damage output. So, 
thing is, it looks like right now Jimmy just has. Going for two low tads. Jimmy just has such a good board right now compared to Jeremy. Still two in hand? Yep. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so we have Jimmy attaching to the Espeon, so probably gonna snipe around the, the plus hole. Electro power. Would Electro be power. Killer oh. Right now. <laughs> oh man, Electro power. Honestly, in any other format, just Electro power would be one of the best cards. Honestly, I mean, it would, I think it would make Electro Jacks one of the BDIFs. Imagine if ZPS had that. Like if ZPS had that, it could, oh, it could, it could have survived past. Oh, Meta Knight had that. That would have been. Oh man, Meta Knight. Oh, that jeez, just an extra thirty out of nowhere. In a in a one for two prize trade. Right. Game. No way, bro. <laughs> yeah, imagine ZPS with Electro Power. That would be insane. That that's too much. Free retreat on the Jolteon to bring yeah. up. Espeon. Yep. Lombre. Doing 30 to the Lombre. So Jimmy doing 30 to the Lombre, putting pressure on Jeremy um, to have a Ludicolo. And it doesn't look like Jeremy has it. He's going for call for family. So Jeremy opts for call for family. Um... Looking to get the APOM. So, maybe I, maybe I would have liked to see that APOM from last turn, but... Um, what about ZRU with Electro Power, bro? Oh, man. No way. <laughs> Meta Knight with Electro Power. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What about Night March with Electro Power? Gross. Oh wait, that 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 exists in Expanded, bro. If I had the power to ban one, one, I don't know if I go and ban Jolteon. <laughs> right. You try to play it. No Joltix. You gotta attack with Punkaboo. Yup. Or a Lampant. Imagine Night Marching with a Lampant, bro. <laughs> There's some there's some sneaky stuff you can do because if you play the lamp, you can play the chandelier that placed those damage counters. Ooh. You can take cheeky knockouts if you can't one shot anything. Oh crazy. man! And you can play the shrine of memories or whatever. Yep. Oh my god! Busted, bro. But here it's looking like Jimmy is is uh, starting to claw his way back in. Yes, I have an energy. Um. As he is able to uh, knock out this Lombre. Go down to three prizes, actually. Yep, go down to three prizes. Significantly um, decrease the effectiveness of Jeremy's board state. Oh, Lux Champ with Electro Power? Oh, man. That was already too. It didn't need it. You, yeah. you wouldn't even play it. You know, that, that, became, that, became, that would become a, a dead card. Already more against like Biogar. Lux Lux Chomp had had unnecessary power. <clears throat> attaches to the Pidgeot. Yep, Jimmy attaches to the Pidgeot. Yep. Six. Oh, I guess a full six with Stevens. That's pretty busted. Didn't draw a 
lot. Didn't really six. drop. You got enough yeah. energy for the rest of the game. But... Yeah. Unless he gets admin, but I don't think it admins if they hit the field. Yep. But, you know, I think it looks like Jimmy might just, um... Well, we'll, we'll take a commanding lead here. Well, lead in board state. Like, he's, he was he would still be behind in prizes, but... Um, looking at the no, board states... The how I to kill yeah. <laughs> So, he knocks out the Lombre with Espeon EX's first attack. And he to Jeremy top decks! Jeremy top decks the, the Ludicolo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Swing dances for Celios into Magcargo? Wow, this is exactly what Jeremy needed to stay in the game. Twelve cards in Jimmy's hand. Jimmy has twelve cards in hand, so man, wow, what a top deck! <laughs> so Jeremy's probably going to end up going Celios for Mag Cargo, and then. He would like to rocket to rocket admin and battle frontier, so maybe he might be um, taking one of those. He does get two draws with the a palm and the uh, ludicolo. Mm -hmm. So he could actually mag cargo, put one of the two on top, and then a palm, and then call a family back the a palm and another Pokemon. But, I mean, Jeremy also needs energy, so this is pretty rough. I think he might just sit behind this plusle here. Yes, I do. I, I, I think so as well. And he's going to yeah, go for an energy and, and, and try to set up that Looney Colo. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if he doesn't get that Ludicolo set up in the next two turns, it's it's over. Yep. So he a palms for the water energy, and then he'll probably just call for family again. Yeah, you just get the electro back. Yeah, Jimmy isn't. Um... Jimmy isn't putting imminent pressure onto this. Plus, well, I don't think that there's. Well, there is a way that he can knock out the plusle, but it would involve putting a flare on in the active. Call for family. Yep, Jeremy called for families. Gets back the APOM. Now, what Jimmy could do here, I mean, he's got three prizes to go, as I could. I don't think he's going to. I think this Espeon's going to stay. Mm -hmm. He's probably gonna snap attack the low tad. Right, maybe the Lud yeah, well, Ludicolo is gonna get one shot by the Jolteon. Mm -hmm. so, so he doesn't necessarily need to do anything with that. Yeah, that Ludicolo. He could, he could target down the low tad, maybe the Macargo. Yeah, I think I think I would also like to see um, the low tad getting targeted down. Um, possibly also the Macargo, but yeah. I mean that that would be a three hit KO. Yeah. Maybe the Slugma even the Slugma. It's got fifty or sixty. It can take. Mm -hmm. Can you use a secondary? A secondary attacker in Ludicargo. I really don't think. I don't think so. I. So um. I mean, I think with the energies that that you run, you can sometimes use Magcargo. Um, but it's it's really mostly just Ludicolo because it hits hard and even has self-sustain in that it can heal itself um, as long as you can discard you know those like extra cards in hand. And it's and it's two energies. It's not like the the one in uh, Celestial Storm where it's just a water. Did you ever want a second Umbreon in that deck? Uh, I have a second Umbreon. There is okay. 
I'm just trying to decide who would be best to use it for. I believe Jimmy just grabbed it, the Umbreon with the Professor Elms. Mm -hmm. So I think here I would like to see um, an attachment to the Jolteon so that when he does bring back the hull on um, Elect Electrode, um, he can just uh, hull on Electrode um, and then threaten a knockout on a fresh Ludicolo. And also, with if he targets down that low tad there, and he can take out the low tad in two turns, you know that's 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 all the Louis Colos that Jeremy is stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be a time where you'd probably want a secondary attacker, but it just the energy costs and and uh, the way the format was. We're not looking at these decks with hindsight. Uh, these are. This is as if it's 2006, and um, that's what we're rolling with, as if it was 2006. Because with hindsight, obviously, a lot of these decks would see a lot of tweaks for specific matchups. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, but Eni's might be a little different because that was that that is Jimmy's own brew. That's his own thing. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yep. So, Jimmy hitting Jeremy with Black Cry means that um, Mag Cargo cannot use Smooth Over anymore. It was a wise play. What a good game, man. So this, th this is probably one of the best games of today. Yeah, last last game <laughs> you is know, just, always going to be the best. Just the game. last game, always. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Jimmy. Thank you, TPO3. He really needs it. <laughs> Just a reminder that uh, during uh, during uh, the next week, sorry, later this week, these will all be next week. These will all be uploaded on YouTube, and mm -hmm. next uh, Tuesday there'll be a new poll up for next week's year. Yep. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna low key lobby here for 2008. <laughs> so. Yep. So So definitely um <laughs> Dan wants 2003. But um to answer your question Yusuke, um yes. Um Meta Knight would would be a hard matchup for Ludicolo um considering that <laughs> his main attackers are lightning. Thank you TPO3. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, oh, I'm not playing Guard Gallade. What's he at 50 yet? Yeah. That's that's <laughs> not that's not oh eight for me. I mean it was the dominant thing, but Oh there's a sick top deck coming. <laughs> yep. Dark Cry. Again. Yep, Dark Cry with a heart with a strength charm. Plus the Mag Cargo at fifty, which means that if it gets devolved, then um, it just gets knocked out. And it looks like Jimmy's starting to really claw his way back. Yeah, he's got this. The Macargo's kind of trapped active. I mean, the deck, I believe. He... Yeah. Oh, that was a good sum, too. I can attack, right? <laughs> uh, knock over for 10. Discard the whole thing. Alright, so Jeremy opts to. Knock over, discard the stadium and play. Um, it was mostly there anyway, just to uh, knock out the not knock the battle frontier off. So Jimmy's not really um, Jimmy's not really missing much here. <laughs> 
Sorry. Allergy season. Yeah, it's all good. So, Jimmy... Attaching to the Pidgeot. Retreat. And retreating. For the clutch. Clutch for the knockout. Taking Jeremy's out to good draws. Now, he could still get lucky. Um, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, this is getting pretty... This is getting pretty rough for Jeremy. Two for two. Where will this go? So, Jeremy playing Rockets Admin, putting both players at two cards. Um. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what Jeremy's for looking for. I think his best card would be Battle Frontier. Even if I mean, yeah, for sure, because all Jimmy needs is the electric energy mm -hmm. to start. Pretty much. Here we go. Two draws, and it's a warp point, and something else. I don't recognize the art. Oh. Oh, Jimmy got the electro. Oh man. Ah, so we got the hay palm and the double rainbow. Again? What? There's no music. What do you mean there's no music? Huh. Could I be any more clear than the headset? <laughs> there's currently no music on the headsets for the players. It's okay. Apologize. But we're playing like right next to no, we, we're, our commentary setup is is weird. We're right next. Yeah, to yeah we're we are an eye shot away. We're just right there. Okay, okay, we can start Music's talking back. regular. Okay, Music's back on the headsets. <laughs> but today it was metal. Last week. Was cool beats. I'm begging you to rock me. <laughs> I mean, I was really digging this this week's uh, playlist. I got some Guns and Roses playing. You mm -hmm. know, got some got some, some some Van Halen was playing. Yeah, I'm I'm more of a Kendrick Lamar, J Cole kind of guy, but some Guns and Roses is a uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, you, you know it's it's good to get a dose from from every yeah. from everything. Too much of a good thing can be bad. Ooh, I would I would say there's some things that there's yeah. there's just you know like a, some quality sushi like, or ramen mm -hmm. or, or or a fat thing of like ribs. Yeah, those are, give me all of it. Right. Or penguins. <laughs> not the not the not sports team. The animal. Yep. All for the penguins. Save the Arctic as well. Of course. And the rainforest. Let's just save save the world. Yep. Don't litter. Please do not. I see you litter. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> so uh, we have Jeremy uh, get an APOM again. Pretty good. Uh-oh, here we go. We have Watch. Jimmy with He's a Jolteon now. So, unless Jeremy can somehow deal with this Jolteon, I think Jimmy might just have it in the bag because, I mean, Jeremy can't retreat. Uh, he would have to get a warp point in order to get this. Um, he did get the warp point off the admin. It. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yep, so he already has a warp point. And so... So so Jeremy can warp points actually and then um 
make Jimmy have to snap attack that benched mine it, or sorry, plus hole. But then afterwards, uh, I'm not sure how Jeremy can knock, can can get the last knockout because Jimmy can then just come in and yeah. knock out and take his last prize with uh, with Jolteon. Uh, I I could talk about steak if you want. <laughs> oh man, honestly, a full rack of ribs. Sounds about really good right now. I'm sorry, the diff. <laughs> it does. If anyone asks for it well done, we firmly but politely ask them to leave. Yeah. Like, I will take rare over well done any day. But for me personally, um, like medium rare. Hand, I what I what I, I went to culinary school. We, one of our time. things we had to make was was steak, and one of the classmates overdid theirs. Well done, and I about saw, saw I about, I about saw oh. my instructor turn into Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're having ribs for dinner, Angry Boko Blin. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Grabs the Amy Palm again. Yep, so Jeremy, call for family. It's A Palm. For, for I don't a -palm know why again. I keep saying AB Palm. AB Palm is what it evolves into. Yep. Maybe you're thinking of, maybe you're thinking of Amber Palm G. Snap attack. Exactly. Snap attack. It's It was so funny just like killing Garchomps with that, yeah. bro. Yeah. It was the best. I think that's game. Giant stump. Oh man, and Jimmy hits Jeremy with a giant stump. Oh, that even limits Jeremy's out damage output even more. I also don't know what. A, I mean, I know what most of these. I would say most. I know what about half these cards do. Uh, it helps have these pictures up here. Oh yeah. To read, I had to read a bunch of cards in my matchups. Jimmy takes a knockout here. Yep. With a with a with, clutch. With Pidgeot's clutch attack, it does forty. Um, also, add effect that the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Yeah, there, there isn't much. But there isn't much. If if Ludicolo comes up, these matches are semi randomly. We kind of decide amongst our group who wants to play, who wants to commentate, and what decks we want to play. Mm -hmm. uh, our only like thing we do is we have the fans uh, vote uh, for what year and what decks uh, they'd like to see be played. Um, for example, uh, uh, Meganium play was played earlier. Uh, Meganium wasn't necessarily voted honest, for in the top eight, was but it's stuff, just to just give you uh, as much variety as we can mm -hmm. while highlighting what people want to see. Yep, for sure. And um, and, and Jimmy's pl is played Eevees for you know it's his deck, so uh, he uh, he gets to play the Eevees. Right, exactly. So. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything Jeremy can do here. No. I mean, Jimmy just retreats into the Jolteon and one-shots the Ludicolo. Oh, yes. All, all, all. If, if Jeremy could find a way to get the Eevee, that's, that's done. Like, the and that's it. As I was say, the only way that Jeremy can win this game is if he finds a way to pop the Jolteon. And, and, in one and shot. Yeah. But I don't think... Yeah, I don't think that he had enough cards to be able to do it. Redemption, Redemption. has been made. Jimmy taking the last All game of the day. six prizes taken. And just, wow. Jimmy won one, and it was one of the longest grinds of today. We don't have a clap emoji. Do we have a clap emoji? Round of applause. Round of applause for Jimmy. Hell yeah. <laughs> no Fs in the chat. If you want to F in the chat, F Jeremy. F, F in the chats for Jeremy. Yep. But... Wow. I mean, honestly, it looks like Jeremy kind of had a shot in there after the, the top deck Ludicolo into the uh, circular step, yep. or was that, into the Poke Power to Celios, but Jimmy pulling it out.
That was an excellent yeah, game. Yeah, the, 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 the last games are usually have yeah, been the last games the last two weeks. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, that was that was an excellent game. Um, I think that'll be it for yeah. now. Um, yeah. So, so by yep. ne- by Tuesday, by Tuesday we'll um, have the poll up for the next format for next Saturday. Um, so just tune into Verbank and Snowpoint City yep. for those. Events? There's a Top Cut Events. And it'll also be on the Top Cut Events page. Sell us your bulk. Mm-hmm. Pokemon bulk. We have it for uh, booster boxes of Darkness Ablaze. Um, check out TopCutCentral.com. Um, we have all the singles. We'll be listed. We'll, we'll try to list try to list as much stuff as we can. Top Cut Comics. We have the cards. Yeah, come on Top Cut Loves Park if you're in the area, the, you know, the northern yep. Illinois area. Just remodeled the store. It looks wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, see y'all next week. See y'all Thanks next week. For showing Thank up. you, everyone, for showing up and being here. Please tune in next yep. week, and we'll see you then. Have a wonderful night. Save the rainforest, save uh-huh. the Arctic, and yep. don't litter. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night, guys and gals.